guys, Fox is drawing Prime here. I'm here with my man Sam, oh, and we are going to see Rise of the Beasts. Speculation: Who do you think's going to die? Um, I think they're going to bring Cliff Jumper back to life and then <laughs> rip his face off. So I think, good guy wise, I'm willing to bet on Bumblebee because we know he definitely will. <laughs> Air Razor and Mirage possibly. We've got the tickets boys, and now we are ready. We are ready for this movie. Got my popcorn, got my drink, and Sam for some reason deciding to go for even more popcorn. <laughs> As he does. We are so ready for this, guys. Let's go. And this is only a trailer, not the movie. Don't copy me. Guys, it's happening. We're about to roll out. See you soon. Okay guys, we're out of the cinema, and... Damn. Okay, yeah. right, we're about to give our verdicts in two seconds. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, we just saw the film, and uh, sadly, I didn't like it. Yeah. Because the truth is, it should have been longer. Yeah. <laughs> it, sh it was yeah. amazing, that film. Psych. I uh, it, was it was awesome, yeah. It was it, so it, good. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yes, um... Just so you know, guys, there is a credit scene, but it's only in the middle, and I'm not going to give any spoilers whatsoever. Shoved down your and throat. there were so many characters in yeah. this movie. Like, oh, yeah. were, like it, but there was really good character development, I thought. And um, some characters, yeah, like some, like, like Air Razor yeah. had good development. Primo had good development. Or Mirage, uh, well. Mirage yeah. especially. Yeah. I thought I, I really enjoyed Mirage actually. Yeah. I, I liked his um, rebellious attitude. Uh, do you know, what? I felt like he was more of a, a main character almost. Yeah, I mean, compared to B, definitely. Yeah, so yeah. Bumblebee was not taking the spotlight this time. It was completely. Mirage. Oh, like, it gave it gave like that kind of. It gave room for other to... characters to breathe, yeah. Because yeah. even RC got some. It's got a lot of oh, lines yeah. as well. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I tell you what, um, Scourge. Scourge is a yes, badass. Scourge is awesome. Yeah. Honestly, like, his entrance. I'm not gonna forget oh, that image because yeah. um, again, not gonna tell spoilers. Uh, like I make sure to give you a warning. But still, anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, Scourge, Peter Dinklage, Brilliant. fantastic. Yeah. Loved him. Uh, the I thought Pete, was it Pete Davidson was obviously Pete Mirage. Davidson was Mirage. Yeah, he was very good. He was very um, good. Like he was yeah, actually really Clinch enjoyable. Was... The thing is, this entire movie did not waste time with the time it had. Yeah, like it was completely focused on the story. It felt. Do you know what exactly what it felt like? What? It felt like a classic Transformers cartoon. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. That's that's the best part it about action, it. It was action from start to finish. Right? Exactly. Like it just gets immediately into the plot. Like you feel like you're you're watching an episode of the cartoon that, that's, that's what i love about it and there was so much action in that oh movie. yeah 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 like, the, like there's barely any time to settle down like there's no. maybe only one or two bits which is mm -hmm. the start and maybe somewhere before the third act and that's it because it's just non-stop but mm -hmm. um yeah i absolutely loved it uh, the effects actually pretty good really nice yeah, yeah. Together. the thing the thing yeah. i actually really loved about this film actually in terms of dialogue they used so many dialogues from the oh, from yeah. Transformers before. We got Till All or One. We got Maximals Maximize. We've got um, No Fast Matter the Cost. Out. Roll Matt out cost. naturally. The thing is, I have to say right off the bat, Peter Cullen he's 81 years old. Oh, he's yeah. still rocking it with that voice. He's so good. So our verdict uh, out of 10, what would you give it? <sighs> oh, um, I would give it a solid nine. I'm giving it a solid nine too. I'd say nine. I'm not obviously giving any spoilers away. I would say if the movie was longer, um, I think it would have been better too. Maybe yeah. a few extra characters. Uh, well, maybe not. I I just think maybe some characters should have got more development if we had yeah, more time. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah. That, that's my only complaint. So yeah, that's our only complaint. It just should have been longer. Um, I as a Transformers fan. I give this film a 10 out of 10. Oh, that was amazing. It was beautiful. It had a nice hybrid of focusing on Transformers with a hint of, a hint of the humans. A hint of the humans, um, yeah, the humans were possible. Think, yeah. So, as I said before, this is the... It's time for spoilers, everyone. So, you see this little timestamp here? If you want to watch the rest of the review, which, to be honest, most of it's going to be spoilers anyway, so you yeah. might as well leave. So I'll give you 10 seconds to leave, as I'm looking at the clock right now. Ten. So what are you waiting for? Don't watch this video, go and watch the movie. What are you waiting for? Go and see this movie. And then come back and watch the video and see yes. what I think. I don't know if it's 10 seconds yet because of course you had to make me skip because you couldn't hold your tongue, human filth. <laughs> because I'm Scottish, mate. Unfortunately. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Actually, so was so was Stratosphere. He was Scottish too. I know. Why? I know. Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler part of the video. So if you're still not gone, please go and see this movie. So, 
the Maximals are from the multiverse. Like yeah. they do not come from the Bay. The bay they don't come from the Bayverse. They don't come from. They don't even come from the future. The, the home planet has been obliterated. Completely obliterated. And Unicron is trapped in that universe because I think, I think he's basically dying because he there's no planets to eat yeah, anymore. He, he wants so on the on the Maximals planet they have a warp key. Which can take you anywhere in the in the multiverse, which will means which means he'll things. have unlimited planets to eat. So in terms of Predacons, well, we didn't really get Predacons. I mean, we got an army of Scorpionox, but they were already serving There's Unicron. Also like a kind of frenzy type beasts. Yeah, the freezers. Yeah, yeah, they, it, yeah they were pretty pretty creepy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of good, creepy, there was a good few jump scares. Yeah, there was a couple of jump scares. Ones I knew saw coming mile away, but I just was wondering how. Uh, but anyway, Scourge's entrance. The way he Bad walks, the oh, way he so walks weird, through yeah. the trees, you see nothing but just his red eyes and his glowing chest, and the music they were playing in the background for that was great. And uh, I did like Ape Link, yeah, uh, the star. I, th I thought the original was, leader, yeah, the original leader. Sense. I really liked that. And uh, yeah, he his death was brutal. Yeah, he got messed up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the stab was bad enough, but then freaking blows a chunk off him. It's got Scar just talked about Primus. That's true. I like so, I like that. So Primus is canon as well. Uh, and the thing was, the thing I really liked actually is seeing that Scourge has symbols all over his arm. Yeah, and different he, insignia. Uh, yeah, you've got, I saw a Predacon symbol, sure Autobot elite, elite Guard. Yeah, there was an Elite Guard. you got Decepticons as well, which means he has encountered all these different factions in his universe. So yeah, the Maximals escape their planet, head to, uh, head to Earth that they've been hiding, and they split their key in half. Which is just basically a classic Transformers movie plot where like we have to it, it get this artifact before they do. Yeah. Instead, it's two halves of an artifact, so I guess they're being a little bit more original. Use and the key, the key, I, th I think the key yeah. only activated because it was uh, their stratosphere again. Yes. <laughs> All right, lads, <laughs> just go away, please. I know this bit's going to be cut out, so <laughs> let's just. <laughs> Noah Reyes, or Noah, is it Noah Reyes? Noah Diaz. Diaz. That, my, I'm. I'm so I'm gonna we even myself. watching the movie, mate. We did actually watch the movie. Yes, we did. We, we just, we I, just pay, did I paid all my hard-earned cash from you guys to, to see this movie. But, ah, <laughs> but yes. thank you, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for financing yes, our yes. ability to go and see this movie. As I sacrifice my voice for your entertainment. Are you not entertained? <laughs> well, are you not? Are you not entertained? So, yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, Reyes, did you say it? Yeah, no ideas. Dear God. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you had Noah, no ideas. Yep, who's um, ex-military, can't get a job. Yeah, he's skin toe. But uh, the thing is, Optimus is very untrustworthy of humans in this film mm -hmm. at first. Because um, I suppose it's just because he's just trying to be protective, I suppose. Yeah. He doesn't want to involve anyone in his war, right? Because think... uh, he knows it's not his world and he shouldn't drag anyone into it. Because the thing is, he he, did, he had no intention on being on Earth for as long as he has. But because he has no way off it, well... Yeah, it was seven years that we're I, on I think he's Earth. I think he's also worried about all the other Autobots in the universe Absolutely, and uh, yeah. Cybertron itself. You have Bumblebee, mm -hmm. who gets killed. Yep, he does die, guys, he I can confirm. Um... And the way he comes back is not the way you expect at all. Uh, to be honest, I didn't see it coming. I didn't think it was possible. I know, because yeah. um, so apparently, Earth has energon deposits, raw energon deposits, all over all over Peru, uh, which I imagine is probably all over Earth. Which I kind of like, because that's a good Beast Wars reference, because Earth was covered in raw energon. So nice to know uh, the director's so been doing his homework. Yeah, absolutely. So um, yeah, B does come back, and he he does come back really in an awesome way. He awesome. Even gets his own song in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of deaths, sadly. We lose Air Razor, and uh, I was such a it's such a unfortunate way. It really it was because basically she got corrupted by a device that uh, Scourge latched onto her, and apparently it was turning her pretty much into a Terracon herself. And because uh, of that, took over her mind. yeah, it took over her mind, and uh, she was basically not only trying to kill them but also retrieve the other half of the transport key for Scourge. And uh, Prime had no choice but to kill her because, well, she was already she was starting to go far gone. Which was sad. It was a sad moment. They actually gave her a really good death, but it's, and it's, there was purpose to it it's too. The bit, you know, it's because you see Elena and she wakes up and it's quite eerie. Almost. Yeah, uh, yeah. At first, I thought it was yeah. one of those wee creepy crawlies. I thought it was. One I of them. thought it was, but no. It was, turns out it was Air Razor Pure rusting up, and her eyes kept changing back and forth with the colours. Between, between, it was between orangey red and natural and, yellow, and she yeah. was turning into an orangey red. And, 
It yeah. was the only when she was she said that she couldn't hold back Scourge anymore. You had exactly because she because he was in her head basically, yeah. uh, and that's so that's when you kind of knew that yeah no she's way, gone. There's no yeah. way of getting her back. Yeah, you know. I mean, at least she didn't go out like Cliff Jumper. <laughs> she didn't die like yeah. Cliff Jumper. She didn't get chopped in half. Well, I was wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I said at the start that I thought Cliff Jumper was going to get resurrected and died. <laughs> well, no, no, it was only the repainted Cliff Jumper. Yes. <laughs> Bumblebee just just kills her. That's yeah, it. And up. Battle Trap, well, same thing. Bumblebee's smart because he knows that Scourge is strong. That's and true. Scourge yeah. is shooting at him. So he uses her as a shield. Yeah, which I really like. And then she, then he grabs one of her swords yes. and just stabs right through, blowing her up. Yeah, which I really liked. Love and that. I really love that uh, the way Primal just grabbed um, Battle Trout's Wrecking Ball yep. and just smashes his head. In oh it. yeah, if there was any. And doubt. Optimus looks so disappointed. It's like I wanted to do that. And I'm sitting in my chair like. We were just laughing because the way Prime, he was doing it pure gorilla style. I love that. Battle Trap. Well. Yeah, um, so yeah, he kind of chops Battle Trap to pieces and uh, Primal, uh, Primal kills him. It's kind of funny. Trip, yeah. It's kind of funny and savage. And Optimus says to him, that one was mine. And just, I just thought, okay, that's good. That was funny. Yeah, Mirage kind of dies. You think, you think he dies? Not again. Go away, Stratosphere! <laughs> we're next to an airport. <laughs> yeah, I know. What do you expect me? <laughs> yeah, Mirage kind of dies. You think he dies, but then it turns... Because the thing is, Mirage, he can transform into anything. Virtually anything. Yeah, because there's a cool scene where he just transforms into, like, a Ferrari, Ferrari, and then he transforms into a Formula One car, with the classic G1 car. And it turns into a bin, like a bin lorry. A bin, yeah, he turns into a bin lorry. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah, which I thought and that then, was funny. Like at the at, at the, the end, at the end, he turns into the suit. Which... Yeah, he actually transforms wow. into Noah's suit, which was actually a really cool so moment. Cool. That's so that's what he meant by saying take the wheel because he doesn't have the strength to do anything, but he has the strength to become the suit. Yeah, he has the utility, which, which is... was really cool. I'm actually now wondering. No, the thing is, at the end of the film, uh, as these Transformers films always go, bad guys lose, good guys win, but Unicron is still alive but he's trapped in his own universe. But the Autobots still have an intention to de to destroy him. And I'm just mm -hmm. thinking, I wonder how they're gonna do that because they have no transport key to yep. get to him or yep. anything, but he they'll probably find a way. Oh, another thing that is a spoiler, guys. We do get some classic tracks from the Michael Bay films, yeah. particularly the Autobots' arrival to Earth and uh, No Sacrifice, No Victory music. And it was awesome, actually. Yeah, do you know what? This was the thing. It really fit the scenes that they were It did in. fit the scenes, absolutely. And, and apparently the Unicron theme from the 86 movie was in there, which I didn't notice. Yeah. But then again, yeah. I wasn't really listening because I, yeah. I was just invested in the but film. But these are the things that when you rewatch... Oh, yeah, that's, you what, can, the, that's what the rewatching's for. There's no way back to Cybertron, so... Not at all. We, you know, it would be one of these things where either they're somehow going to get discovered on Earth. Yeah, somehow. And then that's when the Decepticons will attack. But actually, maybe don't really know. I think maybe the Decepticons will discover them because of the battle with Unicron they had on Earth. Possibly. Because they might have like, because there was a big Energon surge. You know, yeah. Because Energon, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Ener as soon as Unicron arrived, Energon was glowing everywhere. Mm. And Energon is what resurrects uh, Bumblebee in the end, because because uh, apparently in its raw form, and he was sitting on a rock of it. Uh, apparently that was enough to resurrect him. So yes, Bumblebee's died twice in this continuity, so uh, he's not doing well. So yeah, apparently another spoiler here, guys. G.I. Joe is a thing now. Yep. G.I. Joe's in the Transformers universe, so totally retconning Bayverse entirely. So yep. just consider it gone. Bayverse is gone. It's not coming back, and Stratosphere is back. Why would he go away? <laughs> we are being plagued. <laughs> by or, the fact that no, we're no, to no. our we're, we're being planed, actually. Suffer the puns. Uh, yeah, apparently at the end of the film, Noah is approached by uh, someone who he thinks has been... Just a job um, interview. Yeah, he just thinks it's a job interview. And at first, we, we were thinking it was a Sector 7 guy. Yeah. But no, it actually shows that on the card, it's G.I. Joe. So, I guess it's true that they are going to do a G.I. Joe Transformers crossover. Which is quite cool. Yeah, quite and I'm fair. thinking, well, it makes sense, because they, they, they've done comics of that in the past. So, that means it's going to be a cinematic universe of Transformers and G.I. Joe, which... I'm down for. That's I mean, very cool. Because it definitely means it'll just be like a universe of just non-stop action, I guess. Yeah. And more yeah. toys to sell. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, and uh, I actually found it weird the way Mirage comes back. Because uh, that's what the credit scene is, by the mm. way. Uh, so it's just him. Like, he just basically takes spare parts of a Porsche 
and takes what's left of Mirage as the suit and basically puts parts on it and somehow that makes... But then again, he can kind of mass shift, I yep. think, because he can turn into a dump truck, which is a huge truck compared to a Porsche. Mm. And I just think, so basically, and since he can morph into a tiny suit, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just as long as he's connected well, to material, yeah, he can transform. You What's your favourite action sequence in the film? Oh, I think I really enjoyed... Um, Oh, I mean, there were so many good ones. There were there were so many. I think scenes. the fine. I think between, I think the bat where in Rose and Peru, mm -hmm. and they were on the bridge, and it was the battle between Optimus and Scourge. I was about themselves. to say the exact same I thing. Thought, I, I loved really... the bit where like you see Eraser basically tear the bridge in half. Yep. And then you see Optimus, and he's like. I will end you, Scourge. That, that's much better than saying I will kill you. Yeah. But anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we have certainly oh, enjoyed yeah. this movie, Absolutely. and I really cannot wait for more. No, like, but you know, I think it's going to be, wherever the universe is going, I feel like it's going in a positive direction. I definitely think so, because if you ask me, this isn't trying to be like a big, like, game-changing movie or anything. It's not, it's not trying to, it's not going to, it's not trying to be the next Star Wars, it's not trying to be the next Avengers, it's just trying to be a dude Transformers movie for the fans like that's what it feels like yeah. it feels like a love letter to the fans because in case you guys don't know this guy was with me when we went to Comic Con and met Peter Cullen and Frank Absolutely. Wilker themselves and what a day that was yeah. yeah so I was also the guy that bought you your first ever Transformer toy that's true you did bro yeah, 2007 bro. <laughs> not the deluxe bro not leader class bro oh, a fast God, action yeah, battlers bro I still have it but no we have a massive history when it comes to Absolutely, Transformers yeah. So, and honestly, it, if you ask me, the history is going to continue. Absolutely. Because like, the thing is, there's another movie next year. Yeah. We have the Transformers, Transformers 1 coming out. Yeah. Which really just establishes a new franchise. Like, mm -hmm. that, this is it. Like, next year is Transformers 1, which is also going to be the first mm -hmm. of a trilogy. And we've got this, that's the first of a trilogy. And I'm just thinking, yeah. we're going to get a lot of Transformers this decade. You know what, it, and it, I can't wait. Yeah. Honestly, there's a lot of room to grow for the franchise now. Because uh, since they've now pretty much trimmed the fat from from the bay bars like yeah. it's gone like granted there's nods but that's all they are they're just nods so we'll go with that and i'm fine with that I honestly can't wait to see where transformers goes from here uh, yeah. i can i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be fun no with this film there's definitely so many homages to transformers g1 and beast wars as well as the films in general and i just really enjoyed it it was just yeah. really fun it was i mean that's all this film is guys it's fun anyway hope you enjoyed this review guys again totally recommend the movie go and see it it is everything a transformer fan wants Good. if you're just looking for a fun action movie just to escape reality yeah, that this yeah. is the movie for you i was very it was a, it was a very movie. very fun movie like it was um, non-stop action well make sure to follow me on twitter like and subscribe and roll out, roll out.